Hello and welcome again to Devotion and Prayer with the devotional Maranatha, The Lord is Coming by Ellen G. White. Today's reading is February the 28th, A Safe Refuge. Behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Isaiah 26 verse 21. There is coming rapidly and surely an almost universal guilt upon the inhabitants of the cities because of the steady increase of determined wickedness. The corruption that prevails is beyond the power of the human pen to describe. Every day brings fresh revelations of strife, bribery, and fraud. Every day brings its heart-sickening record of violence and lawlessness, of indifference to human suffering, of brutal fiendish destruction of human life. Our God is a God of mercy. With long sufferance and tender compassion, he deals with the transgressors of his law. The Lord bears long with men and with cities, mercifully giving warnings to save them from divine wrath. But a time will come when pleadings for mercy will no longer be heard. The conditions prevailing in society, and especially in the great cities of the nations, proclaim in thunder tones that the hour of God's judgment is come, and that the end of all things earthly is at hand. We are standing on the threshold of the crisis of the ages. In quick succession, the judgments of God will follow one another, fire and flood and earthquake with war and bloodshed. The storm of God's wrath is gathering, and those only will stand who respond to the invitations of mercy and become sanctified through obedience to the laws of the divine ruler. The righteous alone will be hid with Christ in God till the desolation be overpassed. Let the language of the soul be, Other refuge have I none, hangs my helpless soul on thee, Leave, O oh, leave me not alone, still support and comfort me. Hide me, O oh, my Savior, hide, till the storm of life is past. Safe into the haven guide, O oh, receive my soul at last. Behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you for being God. We praise Christ for being our brother. We praise the Holy Spirit for being our comforter. We confess that we're sinners in need of your saving and cleansing. And give us the Holy Spirit that we can finish your work, Lord, and warn people for the crisis that is coming. Lord, we thank you that you have given us the gospel, that we've accepted your message, and we're in the fold. But Lord, one, we pray that you keep us in the fold, but also, Lord, help us not to fall for the trap of pride and self and think that that's all, all that matters is that we are in the fold. But Lord, the world is in need of a warning that mercy has its limits and it will come to an end very soon and that we must go out and warn the people. So Lord, put in our hearts a burning desire to reach others, to warn them for the crisis that is coming that no man will want to go through that everyone who would have rejected Christ will regret when that happens what they will face because of their choices. Lord, help us to have a desire for our friends, our family, our neighbors, just our loved ones, everyone, even strangers, that they will not be destroyed, that they will receive your grace. Send us out into the work. Help us to go out and Lord, also be with them. Prepare hearts that they can receive this message, that they will not be amongst those who are lost. Lord, let your will be done. You want none to perish. So Lord, work on the hearts. Save the people and let us be the ones to go out and do your work. We thank you for hearing this prayer. And we thank you for what you will do for us and in us. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.